Good evening, Rockland, and welcome to the school committee meeting of Monday, December 10th, 2018. First on tonight's agenda is the acceptance of the meeting minutes of November 6th, November 26th, 2018. Motion to accept. I second. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. To vote, thank you. Seeing nothing under communications, we do have an audience. We've got a house full of smiling faces out there. We've got the RHS AP scholars, and we're really happy to have them with us tonight. Absolutely. Hey, Dr. Cron. Can you invite Dr. Harrison to the podium to introduce them? Finding his way. Hello, Dr. Harrison. Good evening. Uh, thank you for having me here tonight to present to the AP Scholars. I want to first commend our student body and faculty at Rockland High School and throughout the whole entire district because 2017-18 was a great year for our advanced placement uh, students. Uh, advanced placement courses are offered at Rockland High School where students have the opportunity to earn college credit while still at high school. Uh, we had our highest passing rate of 47% this past year, which translated to 96 students receiving a passing score of a 3, 4, or 5. This past year in particular, we had six students who were AP scholars, six students who were AP scholars with honor, and six students who were AP scholars with distinction. And these are designations from the college board. 14 of the 18 total AP scholars were seniors that have now graduated, so they're not here with us tonight. But four of the scholars are here with us who are now seniors, who were juniors last year. Being a junior and getting this recognition is just, uh, it's amazing. So it's remarkable. So I'm glad you invited them here tonight so that we can recognize them. Just to do a brief summary, uh, to get these distinctions, to be an AP scholar, you need to get an average of a three or higher on at least three full year AP exams. To be an AP scholar with honor, you need a three or higher on at least four full year AP exams and have an average of a 3.25 or more. So you get a one through five scoring on the advanced placement uh, assessment. The AP scholar with distinction awards are given to students with a three or higher on at least five full year AP exams averaging 3.5 or more. So that's just, all of those are absolutely remarkable. Each of these students gets a plaque, or has their a nameplate, sorry, on a plaque outside of the auditorium. So it's almost like our, we're starting to try to build this academic hall of fame, and um, each of these students has a nameplate with their respective uh, designation. So without further ado, I'd like to present these students with uh, a certificate on behalf of um, the school committee and the administration and the whole entire faculty. So we'll start with um, Declan Rogers, who is going to be recognized for being an AP scholar. So Declan, can you come up here? Okay. Second, we have Caitlin Cameron, who's also being recognized as an AP scholar. Do you want photos? Uh, you should probably get photos. Uh, Maybe we'll do one at the we'll end with all of us. We'll bring back. We'll get these moments back. Now we have an AP scholar with honor. We have Michelle Ramoska. And lastly, and John, I'm going to have you stay up here because I have another recognition for you. But John Ellard III, who's an AP scholar with distinction. <laughs> and just to kind of uh, brag a little bit more about John, uh, mm -hmm. this past year, this past April, we found out that Rockland High School had one student, John was a junior at the time, who qualified to receive recognition in the 2019 National Merit Scholarship Program. John took the 2017 preliminary SAT, that stands for PSAT, in the National Merit Scholarship qualifying test last October, so a year ago. And during that time, you know, all grade 10 and 11 students take this test at the high school, uh, Rockland. The town of Rockland is generous enough, allows the students take it for free, which is unique, and it's something that the high school is very appreciative of. And um, John's strong perform performance qualified him to enter the 2019 National Merit Scholarship Program. This is a huge accomplishment because he's one of one of 50,000 of the highest scoring participants. And you may say, well, that's one of 50,000. Well, there's 1.6 million te test takers. 
what that means is he's in the top 3%. So we beat 97% of the test takers. That's, um, that's a really proud accomplishment, John. So yes. congratulations on that as well. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We have another certificate. There it is. Cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Harrison, can we have the whole group come yeah. back up? Sure. I think it would be a great up. opportunity Everybody. to recognize all of them and get a picture of all of you guys together. Okay. I know Mr. Mills has I have question one, I 50 have, for you. Too. I have one question. <laughs> Anybody here take the uh, AP uh, computer science principles? Anybody taking it now? Uh, anybody uh, taking, I'm it, taking it now? now. How do you oh, that's interesting. Okay. How, how, how you, what do you, do you have, did you pick your performance task yet? We haven't done it yet, but we've okay. done some practice ones. So. Okay, and the Explore, what do, what do you think you might do for Explore? I don't know, I'm not really sure yet. We have a couple ideas. I might, um, we're still talking with my teacher about it to try to okay. figure out a concrete yeah. example. Yeah. Well, the reason why I'm curious, I teach that in, in my school. I yeah. teach the AP Computer Science course. Yeah, I love it so far. Yeah, it's, it's, awesome. a, it's a really good course. So which um, uh, curriculum are you using, a syllabus? Uh, CS50 from Harvard. Okay, oh, yeah. that's a good one, yeah. Very good. Good luck. That's Thank you. Idea. Thank you. Can I just get you folks together? Please? Sure. Let's get in the front here. Um, you guys will line up out in the corner. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> get closer. To your left, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay right in front of the doctor. Hey, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Not yet. Not yet. Mrs. Uh, uh, Horan, do you have any comments or questions? Guys, stay up there for just one more minute. <laughs> yeah, I get I'm, I'm, I'm okay? I do, I do. I just have one more thing to say. Um, Congratulations. You know, Dr. Harrison said that your accomplishments are remarkable, and they absolutely are. Um, but you guys are gifted, and I admire you. Um, and, you know, the work that you've put in, um, you know, I worked my tail off in school, but I wasn't able to accomplish what you guys have. You're gifted. Um, it's very, it really is remarkable. And I think what it also shows, I hope it, hope it shows the folks in the room and shows the folks here in Rockland that here at Rockland High School, gifted people like these individuals can succeed um, and even be challenged. Um, I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud for all of you. I'm so happy for all your parents. I hope your parents are very proud of you. This committee is proud of you. And uh, we applaud you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. And now you can see And you guys don't feel free. Uh, feel free. You don't have to stick around all night. I know you've got tests to study for and all that good stuff. So, thanks again. Congratulations. We watch the Patriots. A different ending. <laughs> Next up, item four on tonight's agenda, we have our superintendent's report, Dr. Cron. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you to um, Rockland Cares, the Rockland Police Department, and the Brockton, Air Brockton Area Prevention um, Center for conducting Hidden in Plain Sight at the middle school last week, um, but also just for being involved with our schools um, in opioid prevention activities. I'd also like to announce that um, the Rockland Public Schools have submitted to the Department of Education our official end of year report. And I don't know if you had anything you wanted to add to that. I think it's a rite of passage for um, yeah. business administrators <laughs> to complete their, uh, their, their first one, but I'd uh, just like to thank everyone involved in helping me complete it. Um, our staff in the office did just a fabulous job stepping up and helping me uh, walk through it, and our interim town accountant um, at town hall was extremely helpful. Um, as well in going through it. So it's uh, shifting more to, to more individual school-based reporting than overall district reporting. And you're gonna see a new uh, report card come out from DESE. Um, over the course of this year, it's gonna be at a very high level in December. And then in March, it'll be a very specific um, school one and there'll be a lot of adjustments made. And what they're trying to do is to get all districts to be reporting like tomatoes to tomatoes and apples to apples. So um, it'll be a two to three year process probably before the data that they're all collecting is gonna be really solid data for us um, to be able to compare ourselves to other districts. But um, it was an outstanding exercise uh, to do and I thank everyone for the help with it. No, no, it's just, it's, it was, it's a lot of paper. For, for, for a paperless report, it was a lot of paper. Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> Well, congratulations on the completion of your rite of passage. And uh, it's from our, our seats, I'll tell you, it's really good to see the 
business department and the business operations of the school is going so well and doing such a great job. So thanks for all you're doing. Thank you. And, your, and the entire staff. They're doing a great job over there. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Cron. All set. All set. Great. Set. Well, thank you, Dr. Cron. Thank you. Next up on tonight's agenda, we have monthly reports for the month of November. We'll be entertaining four motions for four reports. Uh, first for administrators, guidance, nurses, and pupil personnel services. Four motions. Four and seconds. Ministers. All those in favor? Aye. That is a vote. <coughs> thank you. <coughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I do think I will, <laughs> yes, thank you. Next up are the monthly reports for December, and we'll be entertaining five motions for five uh, newsletters. We have the Eston um, Jefferson Memorial Park Middle School. I'm sorry, we don't need motions for these. These are FYI. Yeah. These are all the good stuff that we're reading about. As we always say, all very colorful, and it was right. pointed out to be my uh, Mrs. Smith that these are emailed all out. So mm -hmm. um, for Correct. the folks that get these parents at home, uh, make sure you're checking your email and reading his reports because they are so informative and really great stuff happening in our schools every single day. So great job on everybody with the, with the uh, reports as usual. And next up also for your information on tonight's agenda, we have our building rentals for the month of November, which are busy, our buildings continue to stay busy and they're always available for use and reach out to Mrs. Penny in the business office. She takes care of that. Um, it's always great to see our buildings, our town's buildings being used and utilized. Um, next up, our favorite item on any agenda in any school committee meeting is Curriculum Corner. And tonight we have the Rockland High School um, Pathways program here with us uh, with Ms. Joanne White. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Harrison, welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I'll just spend a moment introducing Ms. White and the students in Pathways. I'll let her introduce her team. But I just want to take a moment when we think about who to highlight each year for the Curriculum Corner, one of the things we try to think about is impact. And this year, when we gave it a lot of thought, the administration and department heads, we came up with the Pathways program because we feel they are making an enormous impact in our community as we try to make our school each year more inclusive. And they've really just gotten involved in everything. And I won't say too much because they're going to share all the great things they do for our school. Um, but just to just give Ms. White and her team, Ms. White, Ms. Rhino, Ms. Mahoney, and Ms. Collins, who work in the Pathways program, uh, they do an outstanding job. So uh, from start to finish, they connect, motivate, and they teach the kids. And uh, it's a great group. So Ms. White, I'll hand it off to you. Harrison. Um, I am Miss White for those of you that don't know and I am the teacher in the Pathways program um, and when he asked if I would like to present I was really excited just to be able to brag about all of the hard work that um, the students in the classroom do um, as well as the mentors that we have tonight that will also be presenting. So our Pathways family um, we have between 6 to 12 students at a time within our classroom. We have students on, um, with autism, intellectual impairments, cognitive impairments, um, neurological impairments. We have a student that uses a um, iPad as a speaking device. We have speech therapy. We have um, an occupational consult that comes, um, physical therapy a behavior specialist, and then a few of our students, once they um, have officially graduated or completed their 12th grade year, then they can go on to the CBV program through North River. Um, we have two paraprofessionals, Diane Mahoney, who's here with us tonight, and Paula Rhino, and then a new member, uh, one to one aide, Stephanie Collins, as well. So our typical day, which is not ever usually typical. <laughs> uh, we always start with a morning meeting and then we go, um, which includes talking about our day, what day is it in the cycle, what classes dropped, what our day will look like. A lot of times we have a silly schedule that involves um, a shorter schedule or if there's a fire drill and, and things like that. Um, we'll do art there in the morning and then I've recently tried to start a um, girls group for some of the new freshmen that are in our class uh, in which we discuss anything from hair and makeup to frenemies to um, anything at all that they want to talk about really but it's just for the girls. Uh, we also have a reading class which is more a vocational um, reading 
class that we started this year, math, computers luncheon, um, adaptive physical education, a social skills, science, and vocational class. So aside from those just being on our schedule, some of the other things that we do within our class are frequent trips to Rockland Federal Credit Union to talk about um, deposits and withdrawals. We do walking field trips to McDonald's in which they make sure that they have enough money to buy what they wanna buy. Um, We've done a trip to Butterfields where they have to include tax and tip, as well as work on those social skills. Ocean State job lot, Deanne's, we took the bat bus to Deanne's, which was a lot of fun. Uh, we just went to the post office today, actually. And then we do frequent Dunkin' Donuts quite a bit. <laughs> um, but again, all of this is social skills, practicing budgeting, making sure you have enough, getting change. Um, we also have a couple therapy dogs that will come. One is Zoe, which is Miss Lashuto's our speech therapist uh, dog, and then another teacher, Miss Hoffman, has um, Callie, who's also a trained therapy dog. We've done co-teaching lessons with other teachers, Miss Hoffman in the math department, as well as Miss Lanigan in the history department. Um, we've we've also had. Um, Previous art teachers come and do some lessons with us. We've had a uh, grocery bagging lesson, science lessons with other science teachers within the um, Rockland High School Science Department. And then our favorite was when Mr. Tui came and taught us all about uh, cupcake decorating because we got to take a bunch home. <laughs> uh, so these are just a few photos. We have Dylan with Zoe, our class with Zoe, um, some students. Uh, from our Dunkin' Donuts trip, and then working with Mr. Tui. Um, every Thursday, we have what's called the Pathways Grill, and this is um, basically our Rockland High School restaurant. We put out menus um, every week, in which just for teachers and their teacher mailboxes, um, and they're able to order a um, soup. Uh, salad, BLT sandwiches, chicken salad sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, and a cupcake. Um, and the soup varies each week. Our popular ones are buffalo chicken, chicken pot pie, lasagna soup. Um, on top of that, we also have to prep for the school store, the Dog Depot, which we have every Friday. So we make cupcakes, pretzel bites, brownies for that as well on Thursday. Um, on Wednesdays, we go shopping in which uh, Miss Mahoney and Miss Rhino will put together a list of what we need, and then I will divvy it up um, by name, picture, and amount for each student. Some of our students are able to shop independently, which is wonderful. Other ones will need a teacher support, so they just kind of rotate throughout the week. Um, the day of the grill will then deliver to the teachers during all three lunches or they can walk in and we always have um, a money man but they work on chopping baking bagging proportioning out foods delivering customer service we wash all of the dishes and then of course making change um, here i have just a few pictures but then I was going to invite Alex Anzavino, who is definitely a leader in the grill, right. to come and share. To talk about what you do in your house. Introduce yourself. Man, my name is Alex Anzavino, and I would like to talk about that's uh, the Pathways Grill. Let's see. Let's see. Um, let's. Um, um, when you get down there, what do you have to put on? I have to put on an apron. There's a hairnet. Uh, wash your hands and, and, and put gloves on. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, then we have to. Let's see. Um, there's some. Um, what are, what's the Alex this year has taken over um, one of the desserts completely independently um, and so he is basically another teacher in the room so what do you work on Al? I work on let's see um, I do uh, I do the mail with Miss, uh, Miss Ellis and that's I deliver in the grill what do you do in the grill 
make the cupcakes. And I said, I, I make the cupcakes, and I said, and I help him to, to make the soup. Mm -hmm. And I said, let's see, um, let's see, um. Who's our money man? Let's see. You put the frosting on the cupcakes, too? Yes. Yeah, you I make see. It. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's what I like. Alex <laughs> goes through. I'm gonna brag about you right now, Al. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Alex <laughs> does our does the cupcakes, and we do three boxes full of cupcakes. So we let him choose. You can either do chocolate or vanilla, and. Al definitely has to do an apron change halfway through because somehow, I don't know how, Al, but you get it all over yourself. That's why we have apron. Keep all over my apron. <laughs> Alex, I have that same problem all the time. But, but I got to tell you, I can see those cupcakes in that picture, and those look delicious. Mm -hmm. I can see you did a great job yeah. with those. What do you say? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great job. And he's job. also um, one of our go-to money man because uh -huh. he does a great job giving change. Um, which isn't always the easiest. Mm -hmm. No way. But he is definitely one of the hardest workers we have in there. Good job. What's your favorite, chocolate or vanilla? Let's see, um, chocolate. Oh, um, you're a man after my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> you would, uh, do you put all the type of toppings on there, like cherries or anything like that, or sprinkles? Let's see, um, mm -hmm. well, there is rainbow sprinkles. There's a, uh, we right. put that uh, on top of the cupcakes. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Excellent. And we also actually brought um, a little treat that we made for, that we sometimes sell in our Dog Depot, which I'm about to get to, but Al, why don't you hand those out? Um, a little munch uh, All holiday right. treat. All right. So the next thing that kind of rolls from the grill is the Dog Depot that we started last year. And it's every Friday during all three lunches. Uh, we Thank sell you. cupcakes, brownies, <laughs> pretzel bites. Um, sometimes we do ice cream brownie sundaes, um, and then a munch or a puppy chow that's all nut free. Uh, we have students from our uh, adaptive physical education class that will come and help serve. But the students work on customer service, being flexible in the schedule, meaning that they don't always get to go to computers, lunch, and gym that day. They have to work. Um, they get to interact with a lot of peers that they don't always see. S money skills, we do, um, they fill out timesheets at the end, and then they'll get a pay stub to see the payout of working. So here we have a few pictures. Alex and one of our former students, Michael, in the Dog Depot. Um, we do have foam fingers and wigs, but those weren't, weren't popular. Yeah. Just, the, <laughs> just the food. <laughs> yep, that's me. That was Tony. <laughs> uh, so one of our classes is the Adaptive Physical Education class that Ms. Folsom teaches. And it's a combination of students in the pathways as well as um, other students in general education classes. And they work together um, throughout games, working on team building um, exercises. They practice for the unified sports that might be coming up. They host or work all together, but we have a field day at the end of the year, which is a lot of fun. Um, and then it's also an opportunity for them to work on social skills that we talk about and work on in class with some peers um, that's more of a safe environment than strangers within the school. And then they also have a friendly face that they see in the hallway. Um, and so I was going to call up Emily Hunt Grandma, as well as Ashley Murphy and Amelia to come talk about our PE class. You got it. Say so introduce yourself. Say hi. 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 Oh, hi. What's your um, name? I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. You don't have to be nervous. It's really good to see you. We're really happy you're here with us see tonight. You. Absolutely. Um, I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. I'm right down. Well. I know these two and <laughs> what do we do together in school? We um play kickball. I always hit Honey with a kickball. <laughs> <laughs> it's an accident, right? Yeah, I didn't mean to. I was kicking it straight and it hit Honey. <laughs> you can't help it you're such a good kickball I know. player, right? And silver kicker. Good job. 
then we always play um soccer and a lot of basketball mm -hmm. or hockey. It gets very competitive, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, and there's a lot of games going on. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. That sounds great. It sounds like you really like it a lot, huh? Yeah, I do. Is that awesome. your best class of the day? Yeah. yeah because I know <laughs> these two girls. <laughs> they're pretty cool girls. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah, they are. They are. Yep. All right, good and job. they're awesome. They are. <laughs> they're awesome. They're awesome, man. Thanks. Do you look forward to it every day? Is that your favorite? Well, yeah. Yeah. Right. Great. I was trying, um, it has all the pictures, and then it has field day. We always have field days every day, Friday, and I always get cast away. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what's in those buckets that you have there? Oh, they're full of water. They're full of water? The squirt guns. Yeah, gun. the squirt guns. Oh, man. You take your turns. Mm -hmm. Lying up, and you take your turn. Yeah. That looks like fun. Fill them up, uh, good and good. they get cast wet. Castle always comes to her for the water fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And awesome. I got him so good. <laughs> then um, I was trying to get a basketball. Mm -hmm. I just got, and then. I always play basketball every time when there's a lot of games going on. I just grab a basketball and Who you shoot. Good job. We have our recreational Mondays usually, right? Where we get Monday. a choice of a game that we like to play. Yeah. Good. Your favorite's basketball, huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love basketball so much. And, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amelia, you going to add anything about um, yeah. our APE class? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I came here last year um, from South Shore Charter Public School. And when I came here, I wasn't expecting the school to have such a um, strong foundation for their special needs students. And so when I found out that they had a PE class that let the kids interact with you know other high school students and have like a special face like they can see in the hall and stuff it really hit home because I have a best friend who has special needs and he doesn't really get to have like these interactions and stuff like they do at this school and so it like it really made me very happy to see this it gives us an opportunity every day to work with these kids and we build bonds and relationships and you see them in the hallways and you say what's up and <laughs> It's just, it's just like, it's the best part of everyone's day. It brightens everyone's day. It puts a smile on everyone's face. Mm -hmm. Like these two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you all have put a smile on our face. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the group that was here before you. I know these two are from Jim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the group that was here before you, I said to them I was really proud of them, and I also told them I admire them. And you know what, I admire you too, Em, yeah. and Al, and Dylan. You guys are pretty amazing guys. <laughs> Great job. Keep up the good work. All right, nice job. Excellent. Good right. job. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Um, so a new program that started this year uh, that kind of goes along with the AP style is we started a very own Bulldog Buddies program, uh, myself and Ms. Hoffman in the math department, in which students in the pathways create friendships they build self-esteem with other general ed students they had to apply and then we um, paired them up together so every month we do an activity however they also have the opportunity to um, reach out to each other non-supervised with parent permission of course and um, engage really um, and create a friendship uh, so in October, we went ca uh, did candle pin bowling. November, we did a paint night here, which was a lot of fun, and we had a surprise artist, Mr. Casa. And then we have a movie night coming up this week. So I wanted to in um, invite uh, Tony DeNino and his buddy Tyler and Dylan Doyle and his buddy Caroline to come on up and talk about it. <laughs> uh oh that is awesome. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello. Um, my name is Anthony Danino, and uh, I'm part of the Poldog Putties program. What have we done so far? 
what have I done so far? In the program. In the program? Uh, we had some painting in our second event. And what'd you paint? It's a snowman. Oh, good. <laughs> mm, great. Did it say anything next to the snowman? Let it snow. <laughs> <laughs> good. My bulldog buddy is definitely Tyler Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you like having a buddy, Tony? Uh, yep. How come? Well, you know, we always have events every month. Do you, what, when we announced one of the top dogs a few weeks ago, who was it? It was Sean Morrissey. This past week, but the week before was. Who was number eight? Tyler Beatrice, my old <laughs> buddy. And you were so excited. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a great Tony. Uh, good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Excellent. Tyler, do you want to talk about the program or right. all about why you joined? Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You did Good great. Good job. Thank Good you. Job. That was great. <laughs> uh, so I'm Tyler. I'm a senior. Um, when I found out there was Bulldog Buddies, me and Miss White, we've known each other for four years through student council. And I have Miss Hoffman for my <coughs> statistics class. So they both influenced me to uh, join the program. They said Tony would need somebody. Uh, we think you'd be a great fit. So I applied. We got matched up. Uh, he, we have done the bowling. We went to paint night. Sadly, he painted a snowman better than me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, last week, he came to the play since I was in it. And oh, good. he supported me. Yeah, we see each other, each other through the halls. When I walked by uh, a few weeks ago, I dropped by. We played some bingo. Um, yeah. And we're going to go see Elf next week. Awesome. Oh, did you give it away? Uh, no, it, it's this week. It's this week. week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you have Tony. Nice job, Tony. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dylan and Caroline, you guys want to talk about? All right. Yes. Go ahead, Caroline. Okay. So my name is. This is. This is Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hello, Dylan. It's good to see you again, Hi. Dylan. How are you? Hi. 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 Last time I saw you, Dylan, we were at the North Pole. I saw you with Santa at the North Pole, remember? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. At the Christmas now. stroll. <laughs> yeah. A lot of dancing. Yeah. I'm Caroline, Dylan's buddy, and I go see Dylan every day, and it's the best part of my day. I love hanging out with him and the rest of the kids in Miss White's class. And we do recycling, right? Yeah. Um, at bowling, Dylan absolutely killed me. He was so good. <laughs> you beat me in bowling? Was yeah. It was it fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I just love being a part of this program. It's okay. the best thing. What an amazing program, because I think it really shows real true friendships being built. And I don't want to assume, but I, I would bet guys that you guys do a lot of learning from each other, right? Yeah. Well, it's great because, like Caroline said, she comes in almost every uh, G block when she's able yeah. to. And not only works with uh, Dylan, but then she knows all the other kids in the yeah. class as well. And same when Tyler was able to come in and play bingo. Everybody knows each other. So <laughs> it's a very inclusive and welcoming um, atmosphere that all of these guys have created. So it's been great. Dylan. A lot of dancing. Dylan. Candle pin? No? What kind of ball? What kind of uh, bowling? Big. Big. No. Big. They were <laughs> the small they were ones, right? Small. small. All right. Yeah. Good. And who did you paint? What did you paint? Oh, oh. Olaf. Yeah. Olaf. 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 Yeah, all right. right. And then who are we watching? What movie? Buddy. Buddy the Elf, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Our social skills. I yeah. still need some more. Good job, guys. Great Excellent. job, everybody. Great Thank job. You. Merry Christmas. Uh -oh. Um. We have our unified sports that Mr. Graziano has really helped us out with. We've done unified soccer um, multiple times with Abington and Carver, unified basketball, 
unified kickball. And then the last two years, we actually hosted the Special Olympics bocce, um, unified bocce, which was amazing. And uh, the first year, Alex actually held, got to carry the torch. And then this past year, Tony got to carry the torch. Um, and it was a lot of fun. And then up there is from one of our, our first ever unified kickball game. Um, other things that we are involved in is we started a Pathways page last year in the Veritas. So Emily, if you want to hand out, this is just the past um, newspaper, but we have our own Pathways page and the students get to write about whatever they choose. So it's a nice outlet for them. Um, especially if sometimes they uh, kind of get stuck on an, an idea or a craft or something that they've heard or seen, you, this is a great way for them to be able Thank to you, write about it. We do school recycling, like Caroline and Dylan said, every day at the end of the day, Dylan and a few other students go around collecting the uh, recycling. We started a Rockland High School copy center down in the fishbowl in which uh, te teachers are able to um, fill out a form, put in a request, and then either we deliver their copies or put them in their mailboxes. Um, Alex is our only mail distributor that we have. He works with Miss Ellis by putting all the different pieces of mail in the mailboxes and he knows exactly um, what role each teacher plays so when something's addressed to student government or he knows which mailbox that is and doesn't have to know the teacher name Good. we he's also uh our main go-to guy when filling up the gatorade machine with principal harrison <laughs> um he does a great job and then uh Dylan, Alex, and a few other students work with um, Ed Laughlin in the cafeteria every day, putting away trash, cleaning tables, putting them up, putting ch stacking chairs, and um, Ed has been wonderful in allowing us to help him out every day. Yeah. So the yeah. Gatorade machine is empty here, but um, that's that, and then Dylan doing his recycling. Right. And then um, one of the big things that we try to incorporate within our curriculum is the idea of giving back and helping your community. So every year we make sure to, um, we make a lesson out of it. For example, we just went to Ocean State and looked at budgeting, getting different items for the um, VA hospital stockings for the vets. So we had to stay within our $25 budget and then we could work it out on the papers and then we donated that. Um, we always donate our funds from the cupcakes to the breast cancer uh, fundraiser of, in September. When we had Hurricane Harvey and Irene, we donated all of our funds from the grill to that. I believe it was National Honor Society that was in charge of um, collecting the money for that. Uh, one of our previous students uh, decided to do a mission trip or with his family to Peru, so we donated to that as well and had them come in and share all about their um, adventure that they were going to go on. We sold camo Rockland shirts for the uh, Rockland canine unit, and then they came in with uh, Tito and I forget the other <laughs> dog's name, but they did a whole demonstration for us, which was a lot of fun. We spread awareness about diabetes and gave um, special little information uh, slips with oatmeal to all of the teachers. We always baked goods for the unified bocce and the drama shows. We take the holiday ornaments that are down on the nurses and we'll go to Target and get um, a few items there. And then we also fundraise for the Bulldog Buddies. So helping our community is one of the biggest things that we work on within our class. And that's pretty much it. So impressive. Um, we are a busy crew. Um, special thank yous go out to Mr. Harrison and Mrs. McGonigal for kind of allowing us to create our own curriculum and being so flexible with what we choose to do. Ms. Folsom for helping and teaching the, our APE class. Miss Ellis is definitely one of our go-tos down in the office that I feel comfortable sending any of these guys independently down to that she knows how to help and what they need. Ed, of course, for um, helping us all the time. The art department is great 
when I get art supplies would always run out just because it's not my forte. Uh, Mr. Graziano and then Miss Lannan Cotton for allowing us to be a part of the Veritas. Good. And that's it. Excellent job. Good job. Good job. Thank you really very much. Um, Thank it's, you. It's t again, we talked about how Curriculum Corner, we look forward to it so much, and oh, we yeah. do because it lets so us see the great things that are happening in our schools for all of our students. Um, the, what this program does for inclusivity here is just amazing. Um, it's amazing for the students that participate in the program. It's amazing for the students that are the Bulldog Buddies. Um, it's really just great. I mean, I'm, I'm so impressed. Dylan, Alex, M, gr great job, guys. Tony, um, great job. You guys made us smile tonight. Thank you so much. <coughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank great. you for all your hard work in the school and everything else. Keep it up. It's good <laughs> for you. Uh, nice. Thank you guys very much. And thank you for our treats. I can't yeah. wait to try these. These look great. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm, coming, I'm coming for lunch one day. Oh, you should. Do. I will. I will. Sounds great. Sounds great. Thanks again, and Merry Christmas to Merry all of you. Christmas. Okay. Merry all right. Christmas. Next up on our agenda, um, almost as exciting, but not quite. We have some completed fundraisers, um, some very, very successful ones. Um, the Memorial Park Pack ran four fundraisers. They ran a Name That Circle uh, fundraiser that raised $225. They ran a Turkey Feathers fundraiser that raised $904.50. Uh, they ran some raffles that raised $486, and they ran <coughs> a Toy Box Holiday Shopping uh, fundraiser that raised $95. The Jefferson School Pack ran three fundraisers. Um, they had a book bingo that raised $153. They had a Halloween dance that raised $572.29. And last but absolutely not least, they had a Fun Run Boosterthon that raised a whopping twelve thousand nine hundred eighty eight dollars and ninety four cents so not only was that an incredibly financially successful event but i'm sure we tired out some kids for their parents during the day before they got home so success all around that's great great news good to see all the great fundraising and great uh, work being done by our school communities to raise money for our kids super job seeing nothing under new business um, we will move on to our final agenda item of the evening, which is public service announcements. As always, ladies first, um, Ms. Jasmine Morse, our student representative. Well, uh, first of all, I just want to say uh, congratulations to all the AP Scholar students. It's an impressive achievement, and they should be really proud of themselves. And also, I just want to acknowledge the Pathways program. I love my afternoons going in and visiting them and saying hi and has seen all the friendly faces and definitely one of my favorite parts of the Veritas is seeing their page. They always do a great job. And Fridays, can't help but go and get a cupcake. I highly recommend that you all at some point come by and grab one. And also happy holidays. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you very much. Mrs. Maroney. Mr. Biggins, I, um, this past week, last week, Tuesday night, I got to watch our very own, God bless you, um, Dr. Cron present at the Board of Selectmen meeting. And it was nice for me to be able to sit and be proud of you, listening to all of the school's accomplishments along with yours on the MCAST. So I thought it was cool for me to see another perspective of you on that side of the wall. Um, I also got to attend the Jefferson PAC meeting on um, Wednesday night. And I believe that they didn't meet their goal even though they made $13,000. They wanted 15000 or 14000 and so now, Mrs. Shifley has challenged them to read, I believe, a thousand more minutes, and then she'll be duct taped to the wall. <laughs> so they didn't, because they didn't meet their goal, but they didn't want to leave them not ha achieving their goal, so she gave them another opportunity. So there will be a chair under her, um, but I believe the duct tape will do as usual its job and hold her up. Um, they also have a fourth grade, um, the fourth graders started a book club. Um, it'll be Tuesday nights once a month. Um, they have a um, culture night coming January 24th from 6th to 7th. And their holiday boutique is December 19th and 20th. Um, it was interesting for me being an MP mom to cross over to see Jefferson. I know Nicole O'Brien, I know Mrs. Shifley, but it was still sort of fascinating, I think, to, to sort of see someone else do 
um, all the work, obviously, that it takes to be a PAC mom. Um, so that was good for me. And I also wanted to say happy holidays and enjoy your vacation week off from school. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Mr. Mills. <laughs> Well, as Mr. Biggins <coughs> mentioned, that uh, curriculum corner is a favorite part, and this was extremely good mm -hmm. tonight. Uh, they, uh, uh, that, that group of kids is super. They do a super job. And uh, I wish them all the luck in the world and in the future, too. And uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks very much, Mr. Mills. Um, not a whole lot for me tonight. Real um, kind of short, but one thing I uh, did this morning is my wife asked me a favor um, to drop off some presents. She has been volunteering this year for the first year with Holiday Magic, and I know Mrs. Moroni, you did that as well. I um, and I just want to remark what an amazing, amazing program that is. I know um, Mr. Phelps' wife was integral in its creation, and it's continuing on. Um, Mrs. Janet Can's doing an amazing job um, for all our kids here in town. I happen to drop off the gifts at the McKinley School, and I, I couldn't believe the amount of stuff that's there. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, there was volunteers there working, putting stuff aside, but Rockland people are good, man, I'm telling you. I mean, the, the people come out for each other, and the, all the gifts, I mean, bikes, dozens and dozens and dozens of bikes lined up. Um, it was really, it kind of gave you goosebumps and heartwarming that um, reminds you what the season's all about, and reminds you what a special place this town is. Um, so I, th th I just wanted to mention Janet and Janet Can and um, the Holiday Magic, just, just one of the many things that makes Rockland a special place. Um, and while I brought up Mr. Phelps, as you noticed, he's not here with us tonight. He, uh, Mr. Garofalo had a previous commitment, and uh, Mr. Phelps has some um, continuing health issues that he's battling. And um, we had good news tonight that it seems as though he's kind of gotten that under control, and it looks like good health is in the future. But I just wanted to remark real quick how much we miss him. He's a pretty special guy. He's a pretty special friend. Um, I admire him greatly, too. He's been a great colleague here. This committee is very lucky to have him. And uh, we're very, very pleased that he's going to be coming back to us healthy. So um, I said that tonight when he's not here because I know what colors of red he'd blush at if I said it <laughs> while he was here. But we miss you very much, Mr. Phelps, and we're looking forward to having you back here with us. Um, with that, that's all I got. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday season uh, and a safe one. And we'll look forward to seeing you in 2019. And with that, we will entertain a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. I second. All those in favor? Aye. That's a vote. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Have a good night. Thank you.